There can be no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen? Fearless enforcers of the Council's will. What a fury, strife, and death. To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim took countless realms of the sword and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother, above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets.
Leave this place! Four horsemen, look at me now. How I curse that day. How I curse you. Careful, Crowfather. I'm not here to put you out of your misery. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War, he's been imprisoned by the Child Council and awaits their judgment for dooming the Earth, for mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth, your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn war. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return! You must destroy it! I... cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Ah. 
Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? The uncountable worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation, that creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, Death was banished to one such world, in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes, it troubles me greatly. Old one, 
There's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the Tree of Life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the Great Tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Quite well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Charred Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. <laughs> Hope is not dead.
The Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder. And taller to boot. I will break it, and you, down to size. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make. Trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a Maker's Key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. 
Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Fire is more valuable than I, You should make haste to the temple. Fire alone will save your realm. You speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, Lord of Destruction. Perhaps in that, there is hope. Just how old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the forge was the first thing we makers built, that in its depths we shaped entire worlds. <laughs> Ride fast, Death. My realm teeters on a precipice. Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs>
Over here. Greetings, horsemen, and welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. I have new items, if you have the call. A bargain. I suppose it will do. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation.
This is no place for a horse.
place for a horse. <laughs> The Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. No different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. Ha! <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Calm. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight. And the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. 